Lesson 3, Messages. To follow along with this lesson, you will need the project from Win32 Lesson 1. We have explained how the message loop processes messages. Now we are going to look at the messages themselves. We begin with our Win32 Lesson 1 project open, with the scroll bar set to the top of the page on the file win32lesson1.cpp. On line 29, we see a declaration of an MSG struct. Right-click the type name to open the context menu. Then left-click go to definition. This opens a tab for the file winuser.h, which contains the definition of the type MSG. In lines 1624 through 1629, we see the members of the MSG type. The first member is a handle to the window that received the message. A handle is something like a pointer in that it references an object. In this case, the handle can be used to access the window that received the message. We will explain handles more fully in later lessons. The second member is the type of the message that is sent. If you scroll down the page a bit, you can see all the predefined Windows messages starting at line 1722. There are several pages of message values defined there, all of which begin with the letters WM. These message values can be used to signal just about any event, like spinning the mouse wheel, creating a window, scrolling the vertical scroll bar, or pressing a key. Looking again at our message structure, we have two parameter values, Wparam and Lparam. The meaning of these parameters varies greatly depending on the message type. For example, a mouse click fills one of the parameters with the location of the click in the window. These first four members are the arguments that are passed into our callback function windproc. The last two members of the message struct are time and pt. These hold the time and location and screen coordinates of the cursor at the time the message was posted. These members are not accessible in our callback function. Here's the message loop again. The MSG object is an instance of our MSG structure. However, by the time the message reaches our callback windproc, only the first four members of the MSG object are used. The winproc function from lesson one can handle three message types, WM command, WM paint, and WM destroy. Only WM command makes use of the extra parameters. Inside of the WM command case, the macro low word is used to extract the lowest 16 bits of wparam. This is where the command ID is stored. The ID is extracted to tell us what kind of command was sent. Selecting exit or about from the menu generates a WM command message. The ID value tells us which of the two menu items were selected. The values IDM about and IDM exit correspond to about and exit respectively. The actual values of IDM about and IDM exit are 104 and 105. The value of WM command is 273. We can execute the code in debug mode to see this. Here we set a breakpoint and select Start Debugging. Then we select Help and About after the window pops up. Now the code is stopped at our breakpoint and we can verify the message and parameter values. This concludes the lesson.